guys and welcome back to my channel. So if you guys watched my Christmas wish list video, if you didn't, I'll link it down below. I mentioned in that video that I wanted to film a what I got for Christmas. So as you can tell by the title, this is indeed that video, the what I got for Christmas 2017. I also did one of these last year. I'll link my last year's one down below. If you haven't seen it, you can go and check it out. I actually received a lot of really, really cool things this year for Christmas. A little disclaimer, I'm not trying to brag saying, oh, look at me, I'm so fortunate. I just know that it's a thing that people tend to do on YouTube. So without further ado, if you want to see what I received for Christmas then just keep watching. I think I'm gonna sort of do it I think in a similar way to what I did it last year and do like people that aren't my immediate family first and then leave my immediate families to last. But I'm going to start off with presents from my mum's friend. So my mum's friend has been in our lives for like my entire life and um, she doesn't actually have any daughters of her own so when it comes around to Christmas time we kind of like the daughters that she never ever had. So it came in this little lunchbox thing, which I guess can come in handy. I mean, I don't really use a lunchbox for work anymore. The first thing that she gave us was a $20 top up for our phones. Um, I've already used this, but that was really, really greatly appreciated. The last thing that we got from her was a pack of Party Mix lollies. Now I'm going to move on to presents from my auntie, uncle, and cousins. So the first thing that I received from them was this diary here. It's just got a whole lot of flora polka dots. To be honest, this is going to make me sound really, really ungrateful, but it's just not my style, so I think I might donate this because I've got so many diaries already and it's just not really my thing. And then the last thing that they gave me which I actually do really really like this beach towel here so it's just got like this kind of like as techy print with these little tassels on the end so it's very very in right now and moving on to things from my nana my papa so the first thing that they gave me was this little picture frame here I'm probably not going to keep the quote in it just because it's not my thing. The next thing that I received from them was this drink bottle here. Now, I actually really, really love this drink bottle. So, it's just got like a pink and white lid. It's clear. So, I really, really like drink bottles that are clear. It's just got these little gold polka dots and these sort of like pinky purple stripes on the bottom. And the last thing that I received from them was this beach chair here. So this part just folds back so it's easy for storage. Now I'm going to do presents from work. Just like last year, work did a secret Santa and Gracie had me again. I thought she had me just because she had me last year and I had the person who I had last year. And she got me this. So this is a light up pink flamingo decor piece. Don't quite know where I'm going to put it in my room, but And then lastly, from my boss, she gave me a farmer's gift card. I'm just for $30, so I thought that was really, really nice because I shop at farmers quite a lot. And then everyone got one of these. So this is a Bliss voucher. So it's like a nails and spa place. It comes like this. I think it's so cute. And it's for all of us to get our nails done. So she said part of the present is one time um, on one of our days that aren't late nights we're going to finish an hour early and go and get our nails done together and then from diane and frank which are really really good friends of mum's we got a little christmas goodie bag so i thought that was really really cute opening it up inside we have some ferrer rochers fun fact i actually don't like these because they have nuts in them it will go to dad because he really likes these and then something that i will eat we got these little boots which I think are so so incredibly cute like look at them they are just lint chocolates we have this here so this is the botanic australia girls night in rose hip oil pamper pack get pampered for a natural luminous glow treat yourself to a girls night in with these rose hip oil infused beauties the rose hip oil is actually really really good for your skin we've got a bath soak a body scrub and a body butter in here then we have this which is the botanic australia rose hip bath fizzer bar Get fizzed. Rose hip is packed with vitamin C, perfect for maintaining healthy skin. So it's just like a bubble bar or like a bath bomb kind of. And then last but not least in here we have the Christmas Who Am I. So it just says on the back, how fast can you guess your Christmas character? Super festive, party fun is guaranteed. So it's just like a little Christmas game to play. So that'll be fun to play next Christmas. 
Now I'm going to move on to Christmas cracker gifts. So mum actually made Christmas crackers this year. Firstly I got a Rubik's Cube. I haven't mucked it up yet because I just love the way that it, like all the colours just fit nicely. Like it's so satisfying and I don't know how to solve a Rubik's Cube. And then the last gift in there was this key ring here. So it's just a turquoise pom-pom. There's this little unicorn chain thing. If you guys have been on my channel for a while you will know that turquoise is my absolute favourite colour. Now I'm going to move on to gifts from my siblings. So from Anya I got this Christmas decoration here just for the Christmas tree. So it's just like a very very glittery silvery snowflake. It's got a little gem in the middle and I just think it's so so cute. And then from Shelby I actually picked out this present and I am so so excited for this one. I think it's one of my most favourite Christmas presents that I've received this year. And that is this Monopoly game here. So this is the Monopoly Empire Own the World's Top Brands. So I'm very, very excited to play this. So you've got things like Skype, Boomer, Nickelodeon. I think you've got Candy Crush on there. Xbox, uh, Yahoo, um, Heinz, Universal Studios, like all those kind of things. I think I've mentioned this in a previous video. But in case you guys don't know, it's kind of like one of my goals to own a Monopoly collection when I move out so this is going to be the one that kicks it off so I'm very very excited and I actually really really love Monopoly. Now I'm going to move on to presents from mum and dad which is the last category I think. This is in no particular order. The first thing I received was this 360 caddy rotating cosmetic organizer. It was up to 250 items. Next up we have this. It's beautiful and it's just like a wall piece. I don't quite know where I'm going to put it in my room. I'm thinking in the corner. Next up we have these. So this is the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Wipes and Oil. Absolutely love these. They're like the best makeup removal wipes ever. I've gone through so many of these. You will know that if you've watched my empties video. If you haven't, I'll link it down below. And it was also really, really good that mum bought me some more of those because I'm currently running low on the ones that I do have. The next few presents are purely from dad. You will see why in a second. So first up, I got some car cleaning stuff because my car is filthy. And I just kept saying to dad, oh, I'll go for a car wash. And he's like, no, just clean it yourself. So he bought me some wash and wax. SCA value you can trust pink cleaning car stuff and a sponge. I don't know when I'm going to have time to clean my car but we'll see. And then the last thing that is like purely from dad is actually something that I had been wanting for a while and that I was going to get for ages and then just completely forgot about it. And that are jumper leads for my car. Again, something that I think everybody should have in their car. Moving back onto the presents from mum. So I got this. So this is a like donut inflatable thing to sit on in our pool. I feel like there's a theme now running with Christmas presents is that we always get something for the pool. Next up I got this key ring here. So this just says no admittance except on party business. So I just thought that was really really cute. Next up I received this. This is like a little notes pad thing. And it says, while you're out partying, I dutifully took these messages. So I just thought that was really, really funny. Next up, we have a couple of books. So the first book that I received is this one here. So this is Every Day by David Levithan. I mentioned that I wanted this in my Christmas wish list. It's a really, really great book. If you haven't read it, please go and check it out. Every morning, A wakes up in a different person's body, a different person's life. There's never any warning about where it will be or who it will be. A has made peace with that, even established guidelines by which to live by. Never get attached, avoid being noticed, do not interfere. Then A wakes up in the body of Justin and meets Justin's girlfriend Rhiannon. From that moment the rules by which A has been living by no longer apply. Because finally A has found someone he wants to be with day after day. So it's a really, really good book and I just love the way David Levithan has written this. It is amazing. And the last book I received is again probably one of my most favourite Christmas presents, if not my most favourite Christmas present that I received this year. And that is this book here. So this is Black Ice by Becca Fitzpatrick. Again, I mentioned this in my Christmas wish list. This was actually the last one available in New Zealand. Um, you can find it online on like websites like Trade Me and stuff, but finding it new in a bookstore is really really hard and um, we had to order this from Masterton. It's a really really good thriller. It is one of my most favorite books 
ever. If you haven't read this, please go and check it out. An edge of your seat style thriller packed with action. But Nifla is trying to backpack the tension range but isn't prepared when a violent storm leaves her and her best friend Corby stranded. Seeking shelter in a secluded cabin, they find two handsome rescuers, or so they think. In exchange for her life, Brett must set out into the cold and snow to lead the men to safety. But during the harrowing journey in the wilderness, one of these men, Mason, starts to show an interest in Brit that seems more romantic than sinister. Can she really trust him? Her life depends on the answer. So it is a really, really good book. There's a massive, massive plot twist at the end that I didn't see coming and I loved it. Next up, we have this book here. Again, favourite colour ever, turquoise. This just says, stay true, stay you. And it's just like a Santa type diary journal thing and the last thing that i received from mum and dad again is turquoise it is this pair of jandals here you can never ever have enough pairs of jandals in summer i pretty much get a new pair of jandals every single year so yeah very, very stoked that i have a pair in my favorite color so that is everything that i received from mum and dad and then i just found one more thing in my little present bag thing it's actually from one of my friends shosh this is such a cool idea and she does one of these for all of her friends and it is one of these so this is a memory stick she's painted it so that it's like purpley and blue and i'm actually seeing shosh later on today so i'm really really excited and on it she has over the years she's taken a heap of like boomerangs and pictures and stuff of just stuff that we've been doing throughout the year she's edited it all together and she's put it on here it is so so cute to watch i really really love this so thank you shosh and i actually knew she was gonna be doing this because i was with her when she bought all the usbs so there we go guys that is everything that i have received this year for christmas or 2017 for christmas because it will go up in 2018 thank you to everyone that has given me presents this year if you guys did enjoy this video then please give it a thumbs up and make sure you go and watch the one that i did last year if you haven't seen it please subscribe if you haven't already if you are new then i just want to say hey and welcome to my channel hope you decide to stick around and join our family here on this channel We'd love to have you come along with us. Please check out my social media links. They're all listed in the description box below. Give me a follow on those. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Oh, this lighting makes me want to cry. Right, thumbnail. What am I going to use? I feel like I never ever have enough hands to hold things for thumbnails. Ugh, there's so much crap in the way trying to fix the lighting as a mesh. I'll go goad board towards dad that body a body butter i always looking dark af and party business